Michaela Schifrin has always been a master of the slopes, but this time, she's done something unexpected. At the 2024 FIS Ski World Cup opener in Solden, she unveiled a bold, new routine that had everyone stunned. Not for her usual podium finish, but for the surprising fifth place that left fans with their jaws dropped. Schifrin didn't just race, she pushed herself to a whole new level, blending speed and precision in ways we've never seen before. Is this the new path to her 100th victory, or is it something even bigger? I like my mentality um, going into the second run better, a little bit more like trying for race mode. In the opener at Solden, Michaela Schifrin's performance left fans talking, not for an expected podium finish, but for a surprising fifth place. It wasn't what many anticipated from one of skiing's greatest athletes, especially as she's coming off a season of impressive victories. But Schifrin's performance in Solden was more than just a placement. It showcased an evolution in her style that has everyone curious about what lies ahead this season. Schifrin's new approach to the slopes revealed a mix of bold adjustments and refined techniques, each calculated for precision but with a hint of daring. Some noticed a slightly different stance that allowed for quicker, sharper turns, adding speed where most would hesitate. And then there's her fresh balance of aggression and control, pushing the boundaries of speed without compromising her signature technical finesse. What makes this routine feel so crazy and groundbreaking is how unexpected it is for a skier who has largely defined her career through stability and consistency. Schifrin is known for her mastery in each run, almost like a dance choreographed to the second. Yet here she is, shaking things up in a way that feels new and thrilling to watch. There were moments in Solden where it felt like Schifrin was testing new limits, whether in her trajectory down steeper sections or her willingness to take on sharp edges with a touch more force. Fans could see a skier who is not just riding her past successes, but actively pushing herself to improve. An incredible feat for someone already so accomplished. Michaela Schifrin became the most successful alpine skier earlier this year, winning her 88th World Cup. Michaela Schifrin's journey to 100 World Cup wins is one of those historic pursuits that rarely come along in the sports world. With 88 victories already under her belt, Schifrin is tantalizingly close to joining the ranks of athletes who have hit three-digit win totals, a feat that would solidify her legacy in skiing and beyond. This season, she's balancing both the excitement and pressure of this impending milestone, knowing each race brings her closer to a record that few will likely ever touch. The fifth place finish in Solden wasn't ideal, but it doesn't take away from her incredible momentum as she heads toward her next race in Levi Lapland. Her current standing shows that while she may face stiff competition, she's fully in the race for 100 wins. Her team has been vocal about the challenges this season brings, from tougher slopes to unpredictable weather patterns. But if there's one thing Schifrin is known for, she can adapt under pressure. Her new routine, while not the quickest to reach the podium at Solden, could be just the ticket to sustaining her energy and drive through a demanding season. Each race she enters now carries the weight of her near-historic victory count, and Schifrin is as focused as ever on inching closer to that goal. The 2024-2025 ski season isn't just a test of athletic skill. It's a race against time and nature as climate change continues to cast a shadow over winter sports. Reduced snowfall has become a major issue for skiing venues worldwide, and the lack of snow at certain locations has complicated early season planning for both athletes and organizers. Michaela Schifrin, a champion both on and off the slopes, has been one of the most vocal athletes pushing for change. She, along with other prominent figures in the sport, brought attention to the climate crisis with her open letter, Our Sport is Endangered addressed to FIS President Johan Eliash, Schifrin called for more substantial sustainability efforts, expressing that existing measures simply weren't enough to secure the future of winter sports. The current season has already been affected, with events like the opener in Solden highlighting the growing environmental challenges. As Schifrin continues to race, she's facing not only her opponents, but also the daunting reality that the sport she loves 
might be endangered if changes aren't made. For athletes, these climate challenges are more than just an obstacle. They're a call to action. The ongoing unpredictability of snow availability means that athletes are increasingly forced to adapt, sometimes competing on artificial snow or in suboptimal conditions. This doesn't just impact performances. It affects the very essence of what makes ski racing exhilarating. It's been really good training, but a little bit of a struggle with weather. We've had a lot of snow, which is normally a great thing for skiing, yeah. but as ski racers, we're very particular, and it's like, yeah. please, we need snow, but not too much. We want it to be hard conditions as well. And we get, you know, we get really picky about it, which beggars can't be choosers. Michaela Schifrin isn't just a leader on the slopes. She's become one of them as well, especially when it comes to sustainability in skiing. Over the past few years, Schifrin has used her platform to raise awareness about the environmental threats facing winter sports. In her eyes, skiing is deeply connected to nature, and without proactive measures, there's a real risk that the sport could suffer or even become obsolete in certain parts of the world due to climate change. Schifrin's commitment to sustainability became especially evident last year when she wrote an open letter addressed to FIS President Johan Eliash. In it, she highlighted the urgent need for stronger environmental practices within the sport, from how events are run to the impact skiing has on local environments. The letter, titled Our Sport is Endangered, wasn't just a personal stance, it was a call to action for the entire skiing community to think about the future. In her letter, Schifrin voiced concerns shared by many athletes, fans, and environmentalists alike. She pointed out that while FIS had taken steps toward more sustainable practices, they were far from adequate. Her message was simple, yet powerful. Skiing, as it stands, needs to change if it hopes to survive. She urged the FIS to consider long-term measures, like reducing the environmental footprint of events, cutting down on resource use, and promoting more eco-friendly practices among athletes, teams, and sponsors. This wasn't just about making small changes. Schifrin was asking for a re-evaluation of priorities to ensure that future generations can continue to enjoy the sport in the same landscapes and conditions she has. The FIS's response to Schifrin's petition has been somewhat encouraging, though many still feel that more can be done. Following her open letter, FIS has introduced certain policy changes and has begun discussions about implementing more sustainable measures across the board. They've promised to examine the structure of World Cup events, reduce the environmental impact of race locations, and work with local governments on eco-friendly initiatives. But many in the skiing community, including Schifrin, feel that these actions are just a starting point. The pressure is on FIS to make substantial, lasting changes that will positively impact both the sport and the environment. I think for all of us, a bit kind of a shock, uh, but it's also everybody has a different path that they want to take. This season, Mount Bachelor in Oregon has made headlines by announcing an early start to the ski season, offering exclusive access to season pass holders from November 15th, 17, 2024. For ski enthusiasts, this is an exciting opportunity to hit the slope sooner than expected. With early access to both the Skyliner and Little Pine lifts, along with Nordic trails for cross-country skiers, Mount Bachelor's early opening is a thrill for those eager to dive back into winter sports. But beyond the excitement, this early season start brings up an important question about sustainability and how early openings impact the environment especially as resorts around the world grapple with the effects of climate change on snow levels and ski seasons. An early start to the season is undoubtedly a strategic move for Mount Bachelor, setting them apart as a desirable location for eager skiers. However, it raises questions about whether such practices align with the larger goals of sustainability. Resorts often require energy and resources to prepare the slopes ahead of nature's timeline, and artificial snow is frequently used to accommodate early start dates. This practice has environmental consequences, as artificial snow production can consume significant amounts of water and energy. In an era when ski resorts are increasingly aware of their environmental impact, 
Balancing early season excitement with eco-friendly practices is challenging yet necessary. So what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.